Hello, join me as I teach you how to solve this beautiful exponential equation. It's just so easy. Let's do this together. We're going to begin this with solution. So let's repeat what we have. 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus this is equal to 40. Now you observe that this is repeated, so you can factor it out. To do that, you have 4 to the power of x. Open a bracket when this device itself is one plus use this to divide itself is one. Use this to divide itself is one and is equal to 40. So keep solving. We have four to the power of X. If you add this, it gives you three. So we have three is equal to 40. Now remember that this is multiplying. So it's the same as four to the power of X. Multiplied by 3 is equal to 40. Now, to get x, we need to eliminate this 3. And since it's multiplying, we are going to divide both sides by 3. So if you do that, we have 4 to the power of x multiplied by 3 is divided by 3 is equal to 40 divided by 3. This takes off this. We have 4 to the power of x is equal to 40 divided by 3. Now at this point, just take the log of both sides. So we have log of 4 to the power of x is equal to log of 40 divided by 3. Now remember, for every log of a to the power of x, it's always x log a. The power multiplies the log. And also, for every log of a, divided by b is always log of a minus log of b. Division turns to subtraction. So we're going to apply these rules of log on this. And to do that, we are going to have the power multiply. So we have x log 4 is equal to log of 40. This division turns to subtraction minus log of 3. Interesting. Now, to get our x, divide both sides by log of 4. You also do same here. And to keep solving, for you to also have the watch through this point, it shows what you are doing interesting. Don't forget to hit that subscription button if you are still new. Give this a like, share with your friends. Let's keep doing this to have. So remember that these two are the same. We can take them off. So we have x is equal to log of 40 minus log of 3 divided by log of 4. Now, at this point, we cannot leave it this way. We need to simplify. Remember that 40 is the same thing as 2 times 20. 20 is 2 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. So for 40, it is 2 raised to power of 3 multiplied by 5. And for 4, 4 you know is 2 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 2. So we're going to replace this here. To do that, we are going to now have x is equal to log of 40, as we've seen, is 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5. Then we have minus log 3. And everything is divided by, for this we have log of 2 raised to the power of 2. And remember, for every log of A multiplied by B, it's always equal to log of A plus log of B. Multiplication turns to addition. Now, applying this on this, we have X is equal to log of multiplication turn into addition. So we have 2 to the power of 3 plus log of of 5 minus log of 3 and is divided by log of 2 to the power of 2. Remember we said the power multiplies. So we have x is equal to 3 log 2 plus log of 5 minus log of 3. We can use this to divide each of the numerators. So we have the power we multiply. We have 2 log 2. For this, we have 2 log 2 and also do same here. So if you keep solving, we are having x is equal to, see that log 2 is the same here, so we take them off. We have 3 on 2 
plus remember the coefficient here is one so we have log of five divided by two log two then we have minus this is also one log three divided by two log two now at this point remember for every log of a divided by log of b it's always log of a base b your change of base rule so if you apply it here we have x is equal to 3 on 2 plus applying this here we are going to have half log 5 base 2 minus this will give us half log 3 base 2 and this gives us the simplified value of x we are going to plug this value of x at the left side to see if it gives us 40 and that is the most interesting part i wouldn't want you to miss and i hope you're already giving this a like let's do this together so to verify now since this is the same we are going to work with one first then when we are done we replace so we're going to work with four to the power of x and four to the power of x will be four to the power this is our x so we have three on two plus we have half half of log of five base two minus half of log of three base two now remember that for every a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is always equal to a to the power of m plus n multiplication turns to addition we are going to apply this through on this remember this represents the power of this x this x value so applying this here we have 4 to the power of 3 on 2 addition sign turn it to multiplication so we have 4 to the power of half of log of 5 base 2 now when you have subtraction what do you do to subtraction remember that for every a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is always a to the power of m minus n for subtraction you divide so in that case you are going to divide this by 4 to the power of half log 3 base 2 interesting remember this is multiplication so simplifying what we have here we are going to have Remember that 4 is 2 to the power of 2. So raise it to the power of 3 on 2. Multiplied by same here. 2 to the power of 2 is raised to power of half log 5 base 2. Then divided by, this is 2 to the power of 2 is raised to power of half. Let's bring it down. So we have divided by 2 to the power of 2 is raised to power of half log 3 base 2. Now, remember also for every a to the power of m raised to power n, it is a to the power of m multiplied by n. The powers will always multiply. Now, we're going to apply this here. So if you do that, we are going to have, this gives us 2, this is 2 over 1. To remove this, you multiply the power. And these two takes off this. So we have 2 to the power of 3. Remember that 3 divided by 1 is 3. Multiplied by, for this, this is over 1. This takes off this. So we have 2 to the power. 1 multiplies this gives us log 5 base 2. And it's divided by, do same here. This takes off. So we have 2 to the power of log of 3 base 2. Now, at this point, remember, for every a to the power of log of b base a, it's always equal to this b. You see that these two bases are the same, so it gives you this base b. So we are going to apply this rule on this. To do that, we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by, you see that these two are the same, obeying this, so it's going to give us 5. So we have 5 is divided by these two are the same, so it gives us 3. Now you see that we have multiplication and division. You always work the two at the same time, beginning from the left. So we're going to have 
2 raised to the power 3 is 2 multiplied 3 times to give us 8 multiplied by 5 is divided by 3. So if you multiply this, it gives us 40, then divide it by 3. And this gives us 4 to the power of x. But remember, we have this repeated. So we're going to now have 40 divided by 3 for this plus 40 divided by 3 for this and then 40 divided by 3. You observe that denominators are the same. So add the numerators. So we have 40, add 40, add 40, divide it by 3. So we have 120 and 120 divided by 3 gives us 40. And that is what we have at the right side. So it means that x equal to 3 on 2 plus half log 5. Let's adjust this. So the value of x as 3 on 2 plus half log 5 base 2 minus half log 3 base 2 is absolutely correct. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to tell us how much. Like this video, share with your friends. And if you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you every day. Thank you for always choosing to lecture us. I'll see you in our next class. Till then, bye-bye.